Okay, it's Bev here and Dave, and we're in our living room, and I have um, the, the large billow, which is 55 inches wide, and it is 10 feet long. I also make one that is 12 feet long that's 55 inches wide, but these billows that I make are the eight mommy silk, not the five, but the eight. So we're just going to kind of show you how uh, you use them. Uh, it's pretty simple, but um, if you're not familiar with a billow and using it, um, this will kind of give you an idea of how to use it. Of course, you can do it any way that the Lord leads you to use it during your time. Um, so I'm going to step back here in the living room. We're just going to show you how it works, okay? All right, so here's the fire one, and keep in mind, this one is um, 10 feet long, okay? So what you do is you go have one person on one end and then one on another end, and um, you just grab the corners of the billow like this, like this, and then you have the other person on the end grabbing their end. So then you're going to kind of step back a little bit and this will kind of give you an idea of how big the billow is. Okay, so when you get ready to move the billow up, you need to move it the same time as the person on the other end is moving it. So you need to do it together. So um, that's what we're going to do. And so here we go on the count of three. We're going to have the billow down here. And then we're going to lift it up. And when we lift it up, that's when the people or persons goes underneath the billow when it's lifted high. And when it comes down, you're going to bring it up again, and then another person can go under it. Okay? So one, two, three. Up. There it is. There's the billow flying, coming down. Then again, up. And then down. Can you come in a little bit more so they can see there? Okay, so here we go. We're going up, and then we're going down. So again, we're going up, and the person's going to go through, and then they're going to go through it, and then it goes down. So that's how it works. It's pretty simple. Um, then you can just fold up your, your billow like this. And your billow will come with a box, like a storage box, similar to this one. And um, you just kind of neatly roll it up and put it and store it in here when you're not using it. Also, it comes with oil, so you can anoint it before you use it. Also, let's see, he's just rolled it up, so I'll just give you kind of an idea. So it just goes in like this, nice and purty. And uh, there's your billow. And then that way it's stored when you're not using it. Now, um, there are other things you can use with the billow for different stuff, be creative. Um, you can put it on the edge of your bed at the end, you know, um, just different things. So this is the fire one. So um, I also have a healing one that's green and purple. And um, I believe there was one other one. I can't remember what it was, but I've only made three so far, but I'm gonna make more of them. And they all are hand stitched around the edges too, that really pretty stitch that I put on your flags. Okay, God bless, bye-bye.